What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Import Outlaws. Uh, I actually had the other half of Import Outlaws here today, my buddy Brandon. So, uh, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Like, uh, like Reed said, my name is Brandon. Uh, we share super common interests, like cool cars, going fast. No, we got some nice projects we want to bring you guys and, and show you the content on how we progress with those. Yeah, I know, uh, I know I'm really excited about those. Uh, I'm sure you are too, but uh, today we're just going to be finishing up this case swap. We actually got a lot of stuff done on it, uh, just kind of behind the scenes. Uh, we've been in a huge time crunch, so uh, we're kind of sorry that we didn't film a lot of it. So yeah, we, uh, we've got the wiring harness mocked up. Got the fuel system ran, and we still got a few things left to do on that. We got to switch out the fuel, but um, got the radiator in, hoses ran, got to fill it up with fluids, and I mean, after that, we might be ready to fire this thing up. So I got to ask you, so, you know, you haven't really been doing this that long. You know, your first race was two months ago, maybe. Right. But um, what did you think of, like, the actual racing, you know, the atmosphere of the, the SCRA series overall, and just kind of... What, what what did you think about the things that not only me but all the drivers do to these cars because uh, i kind of like to get an outside perspective on it yeah sure um so like you said two months ago it was my first race viewing it uh one of the coolest things i've ever seen i've never been exposed to any sort of like circle track or dirt racing like that um i've been around drag racing and uh, street racing but uh that's to my extent of what i've seen um the things that you know SCDRA does with these these four cylinders just blows my mind. Uh, these guys are so fast, and uh, they're most of them are amazing drivers. Um, Reed being one of them, uh, it's crazy to see what they do, and uh, I'm excited to help build and uh, grow along with him. Yeah, it uh, he's been a huge help, and it uh, it's kind of nice to to have an extra set of hands around the shop and whatnot because you know doing all this stuff by yourself gets gets to be a lot. But I mean. Not only I appreciate it, but I know Jason does too, because as most of you guys know, I drive for Jason Myers throughout the, the regular season. So uh, this is kind of our backup car, but. All right, guys, we hope you enjoy. We've got a whole list of things we've got to knock out on this car. Hopefully get it running by tonight. Yeah, hopefully not be up all night. That too. <laughs> yeah. So whenever I was running this wiring harness, I run it through where the rest of the wires are running through the firewall, just so it could, you know, run over here where the ECU is gonna be. But I really didn't like how close to the header it was laying. So what I'm probably gonna end up doing is trying to cut a hole right up here somewhere and run it through here and then to the ECU. Um, that way it's just kind of out of heat. And I mean, if something does happen under the hood, it doesn't burn up the harness too. But got Brand, he's working on trying to get this mount out right here. That was for the uh, the B series stuff, so we don't need it anymore. But we're chipping away at it. Brand's over here adding stuff to our to do list. Yeah, we forgot something that's uh, pretty vital. So, uh, <laughs> let's get after it. I'm already one step ahead of him, so. You working on the car, buddy? You helping? Are you helping? Oh, look at you so strong. Why are you trying to eat it? Goofy. Oh.
God, that's a rat's nest. Hey, don't you worry about that right now. I, uh, we're just gonna get this thing running. I'm gonna come back and clean it all up because I know, uh, as you would say, this looks mediocre at best. <laughs> mediocre at best. All right, well, we've got all the fuel system done, all the wiring harness done. So I'm just testing the fuel system right now. Looking like we got pretty good fuel pressure. So have your seal of approval. Looks good to me. It's not leaking yet. You don't hear them? <laughs> don't hear it leaking. <laughs> um, got the wiring harness run through this hole right here with the shift uh, linkages. So now it's not running across the back of the firewall right there by the header. So we're just getting ready to fire this thing up now. We can't run it for a long time because we, um, we actually ran into an issue where the adapter we have for the, the water neck won't take this mechanical gauge, so I gotta figure out something with that. But, so, I mean, we'll crank it up, just see if it fires real quick, and then, um, yeah, we'll just kinda shut it down. But, here we go. pretty good so now after this we just got to tidy up the wiring and stuff and then it's gonna be off to the dyno to get a get a tune well we got this thing all stripped down and got everything for the case swap swapped over into the hatch so you know I'm just gonna you know try to get it sold so got a couple people interested in it so hopefully we can make something happen this weekend and send it on its way but it kind of leaves some exciting things for the hatch. I'm excited to get that thing completely ready and uh, test it out. So, um, you know, it should be a good one. So yeah, tomorrow we're gonna head to Jason's house and work on the car I've been driving during the regular SCDRA season. So we're currently sitting third in points. So it's important that we try to get that thing in tip top shape and get it ready to go. So yeah, I think we're gonna try to head to Lakeview this weekend to shake the car down. Uh, weather permitting, of course, it seems like every time we go there, it wants to rain on us, but uh, yeah, I mean, we still got a lot of work to do on that thing beforehand, so I mean, we're going to try to knock it out, and I mean, the, the big reason we want to try to take it to Lakeview is because, you know, we had so many issues with it last time we ran. Uh, we just want to make sure it's all taken care of before the series race, but if not, our next one's going to be a Talladega short track. Um, it's not this upcoming weekend, but next weekend. So, uh, and that will be a series race. So we gotta make sure we're ready for that. Cause uh, we can't afford any slip ups, but you know, I got a, I got a really good team. So I'm feeling confident about it. The car has been fantastic. So, uh, I'm really looking forward to it, but more to come on that. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. What's up everybody. Today we're heading to, uh, Walterboro, South Carolina. This is kind of my, home away from home, so to speak. It's uh, the shop that I've been running out of, uh, racing for Jason Myers and DAM Trucking. So we're heading there today, kind of work on the car. Uh, the last race that we ran at Rome Speedway, you know, we, we actually set fast time and we were leading the race and the car started having some issues. Uh, we've kind of tracked it down to the TPS sensor acting up, but, um, we aren't exactly sure yet. You know, we changed it and it seems like it helped it out some and kind of the car went from running real raspy to, you know, running kind of normal like it used to, but I mean, really we don't know until we get out there on the track. So you'll be seeing a lot of this car. Uh, I might give you guys a preview of it and uh, introduce it to the channel. So uh, it's, a, it's a bad, fast hot rod, that's for sure been running really good so uh, I'm looking forward to the the next big SCDRA race so cruising around the old beater today um, you know as I was driving I was sitting here thinking I think I uh, changed the oil at like 200,000 miles and uh, just realized that yeah it's about 222,000 miles now so uh, might be kind of overdue but you know be like that sometimes you get busy you forget uh, I might have missed that one by a couple thousand miles, so, but, you know, the old girl treats me well, so, I don't necessarily do the same.
Well, boys, here she is. The old bad fast hot rod. So shout out to DAM Trucking. You know, they make this whole thing happen. Um, this thing's been on a rail all season. Has a H motor in it. Um, we're just kind of going through and fixing some damage from the last race right now. Show you guys kind of what's going on. So down here, um, this bolt for that trans mount, uh, it actually snapped off. So the track wasn't rough or anything. It was just, I guess, the vibration in the car caused all the mounts to come loose. Uh, this motor mount back here, you know, it's rattling around. So we're gonna fix that. And then, uh, yeah, I'm not real sure how we're gonna get to that. We're gonna have to pull that mount off and then try to pull that bolt off. So it should be pretty fun. Jason, you having fun yet? Yeah. It's gonna be a long night. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a long night. Hopefully we don't have to pull the transmission out, but we shall see. Uh, it's gonna be to be continued, I guess. So uh, we're gonna get back at it. Well, I'm getting ready to head to the old Harbor Freight, try to pick up a, another easy out. The, um, the one we had it was a little too small. We were worried it was gonna break off inside the uh, transmission. So yeah, before that happened, we're gonna go get another one and um, you know, if we break this one off, then we're just going to weld a bolt to it and then hope for the best, but should be able to get it. Um, I think uh, things going to happen. So easy house didn't work. So this is going to be our setup trying to weld this nut on this bolt. Well, shit. <laughs> Let's drink a beer and start over. <laughs> well, I'm on my way home. Uh, super long night. We really didn't get a whole lot accomplished. So, literally sat there and fought that bolt the entire time and got nowhere with it. So, I mean, we tried and tried and tried to use easy outs and weld nuts to it to try to back it out, but. I think whenever it loosened up, it pulled against the threads that were in the, the case already and, um, you know, just seized it up in there. So what we're planning on doing is drilling it out, put a helium coil in it and, um, you know, go and do a, a better bolt so that it doesn't happen again. And that should take care of it. But, uh, I mean, I only imagine that the threads are pretty damaged in there the way that thing was seized up so um yeah we tried we um i wouldn't necessarily call it a failed but i mean you know it uh wasn't a good night it wasn't a, well it wasn't a productive night it's not that it was a bad night but uh just wasn't productive so what's up everybody um we're gonna give this a, another shot today so I'm actually on my way to Jason's right now. And we're gonna try to get this mount back in the car. Um, Jason went through and got that bolt out, put a helical in there, so it should be good to go now. Uh, just working on getting the header braced up and gotta get that back on the car. And then after that, we'll be, uh, be ready to fire back up. So hopefully it goes a little smoother than it did, uh, did the other night because I think we were both ready to smash our head against the fenders after uh, after that whole deal. So it uh, it was not a productive night and um, you know we're usually we usually don't have stuff like that happen but I guess it happens to everybody and we're gonna make the best out of it and try to get it finished up today. All right well we got the mount in there uh, got the new header on but see what this old H motor will do.
it was uh, the CPS sensor that was giving us issues. Well, things went a lot better today. Um, I mean, the car sounds great. So that was definitely our issue last time we ran is the, the TPS sensor was giving us some, some trouble, but I think it's good to go now. Um, our next one's gonna be at Lakeview. So uh, we're just gonna do a little test and tune, try to shake the car down and get ready for the next SCRA race. So the, the SCRA series, that's the series we run with the, the circle track stuff. Uh, we have a, a really good time doing it. Those guys put on a, a really good deal and um, we enjoy traveling and hanging out with our friends and whatnot. So uh, we put on some awesome races. So I'm looking forward to getting you guys some footage of that. Well, boys, we got some bad news. Unfortunately, Mother Nature won this weekend and we aren't gonna be going to Lakeview. So that's gonna make the, the next race Talladega short track. That's gonna be this upcoming weekend. It's a SCDRA race. So, um, I mean, I'm really looking forward to it. It's one of those tracks that's real slick and um, I seem to do a lot better on tracks like that than something that's just hammered down. But yeah. We're just gonna kind of chill out tonight, I guess, probably do a little shop cleanup. I am stoked on the fact that we got that Civic fired up and I'm glad that the white car is ready to run too. So yeah, Friday morning, we're gonna be heading to Dega. Uh, we got a pretty cool little place to stay up there and uh, should be a good time. But like I told you guys earlier, we're running third in SCDRA points right now. So can't afford a bad finish uh, after the DNF at the last one, but um, I have all the faith that the car's gonna be good. So the thing's been on fire lately and you know, Jason prepares a really, really good race car. So I think, uh, I think we might have something to bring home the win, but I mean, only time's gonna tell at this point, but I appreciate y'all watching and hanging out with us. But if you could please like and subscribe to the channel, it really helps us out a lot. But other than that, I'll see y'all later.